Hi guys, welcome! I hope you're doing great. I'm Mel and on today's video I'm going to sculpt. And uh, This is actually the illustration I did for this project but um, I'm already overwhelmed by the cats so I'm not sure if I'm going to make them so let's see. Let's see how this will end up. So uh, uh, at the moment, I mean right now, I help myself with the mold for making the basic shape um, of my faces. Um, but since I want for you to try it at uh, the try this project, the try it at home, I'm going to show you how to to make your basic shape um, without a mold, just uh, using uh, aluminum foil that you know we all have at home. So, as you can see, um, on this face, what I actually do is um, I make an egg shake and for the back of uh, the head, I wrap a bowl of aluminum foil with masking tape, I cover it with uh, a clay and then I gently take the, the aluminum foil out and uh, that is how I have I I have my hollow um, pieces. Okay, so as you can see now, I'm going to take a piece of a chunk of clay and I'm going to cover my aluminum foil, and I will do an egg shape. I'm just going to let it dry for two days and that's it, making sure that it's fully dry so I can start uh, drawing the proportions to start my sculpting process. As you can see now, I'm just basically tracing the uh, where things are going to be placed. I just take the whole thing and I just... Um, I just... Um, I just divide them into halves and it's where I place the eyes and the nose like so <laughs> and this is actually how I work uh, when drawing also and um, for working with uh, when working with air dry clay you will have to to carve and you will have to carve a lot so you have to be very patient and have some knives at hand so you can help yourself <laughs> as you can see uh, I'm going to basically start the carving process with the eyes placing the eyes and making sure that they look good it's actually for me uh, the hardest part of uh, working on a face because eyes have to, have to be symmetrical and it's really hard to actually make them symmetrical so that is actually why I start um, with this kind of flat base uh, shape because I want to make sure that at least I mean the eyes of course everything has to be symmetrical but the eyes are on, on their place and, they and that they actually look symmetrical so that is why I start with the eyes because for me it's the most difficult part and as you can see starting this way for me it's easier so because I just have to get um, worry on just basically carving sculpting that sphere inside of um, the eyes and I mean the eyeballs as you can see it starts to appear and you have you have to always make sure that it looks good on the front view but also on the side side view i'm only working on making that sphere appear and that the eyes look good and for you know uh, working with the eyes you have to take in consideration the eyelids and um, you know to make them look uh, proportion proportionate as well so the lower uh, eyelids have to to be a little behind so that is why I have as you can see worked carved a little bit on the lower part 
because I want to place that lid properly and now I'm going to start uh, keep on working on that sphere as you can see and it's not hard as you can see because I have humidified the surface and, and this makes the whole carving process really easy as I already said and this is actually how I do it I most of the time use um, I you know I just take a brush and uh, I gently I gently cover the surface with water <laughs> I mean humidifying the surface like so and uh, you will see that uh, you have to be careful actually because these the eyelids are really thin and once you place water on top they can be become really fragile so you have to make sure that your brush is not too soaked in water and uh, I always um, start uh, building up the, the whole eyes part and that involves of course the eye eyebrow bone I brow bone the uh, the brow bone so it will start to look like it has more dimension as you can see and uh, for me working with air dry clay it's I tr I've tried many mediums and for me this is the best medium I mean I'm, maybe because I'm kind of a rough uh, sculptor sculptor because um, I kind of tend to be I don't know I'm, it's really hard for me to manage um, soft materials I tend to mess up what I already sculpt easily so working with air dry clay for me it's, it has been oh, uh, a, a breath of, of peace <laughs> because it's really really forgiving and um, f when adding thin layers of clay on top of uh, a well dry uh, base will take you half of an hour to be kind of fully dry and uh, because the base will soak the water and the humidity of the layer you just add so it will be easy i mean it will dry fast so this is how i do it and um, now i'm i'm once the eyes are kind of in place i'm kind of satisfied because i'm not finishing the eyes totally i mean they're they're not complete but they are on place and they kind of have the the deafness i want them to have and the shape i want them to have uh, then i move on to the cheekbones and uh, as you can see these are, are thin volumes and this will take as I, I already said um, no time to dry really so okay guys and as you are seeing I'm not speeding the whole process too much I mean I'm showing you actually on real time um, my the rhythm I have when when I'm sculpting with air dry clay I'm just showing you of course one side and then I the the, whole, the other side it's it's already done but this is pretty much how it takes me it's actually um, quite uh, easy to work with and it doesn't take that much time once you get the hang of it as you can see it's not that much of a, a volume that i just add and now i'm moving on to the nose 
and uh, I'm not worrying on actually making uh, a real nose. I'm actually only doing the basic shapes, uh, like a carrot shape, like a rectangle shape, and that's it. What it uh, worries me it it's that the 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 chunk of clay that I just add has to be really really stick to the base because I will hollow hollow the nose um, because um, it helps uh, the clay to dry faster. And uh, since the carving process will need water, I, I help myself with water, I need the basic shapes to be fully, fully dry. So that's why I, I hollow uh, the, as much as I can uh, my pieces. And even the, the smallest parts that need, that can be, uh, hollow, I hollow them <laughs> and as you can see now I'm blending that chunk of clay uh, to the to the rest of the face and just blending blending it well uh, for me to in order for me to hollow that nose and you will see it now <laughs> as you can see not worrying too much on making the nose and guys this is actually I, I really want for you to try this because it's, it's kind of a fun experience and uh, you know as for a hobby for ha um, having fun relaxing it can be a, an, an excellent project for you to try you know trying to sculpt the face and you work one week on the eyes maybe the next week on the nose on the lips and you don't know how but you have ended up working doing uh, a full face <laughs> so and as you can see I those lines I draw at the beginning are are of a lot of help um, they are actually uh, show me the way uh, I'm things had to be where the things had to be and as you can see I'm hollowing the nose finally <laughs> yes and I'm actually kind of stretching the clay a little bit and giving more um, uh, height to the nose as you can see and this will actually also help uh, help me with uh, the nose trails uh, it will be way much easier to to make them because since the since the nose is already hollow I will need to pretty much cover the front part and that's it that is how I sculpt the nose so you can see guys now it actually looks a little bit like an avatar character with that kind of thick bridge of the nose and yay <laughs> like so And as you can see, since I blended, blend that clay quite well, it won't break uh, when I stretch it. So the nose, it's it's done. I on one day I try to add, I mean the most I can, like the cheekbones the nose and a little bit of the forehead as you can see because I mean uh, the forehead connects 
to the brow bone and so in order for you to have those eyes looking well uh, you have to work on that uh, with all the with all that at the same time pretty much so yeah this is how i i do this and of course you have to um, once you have some experience um, working with um, portraits with illustration i mean with basic proportions of uh, the human face uh, you you will be able to to see where are the most uh, the high points of volume so as what i'm doing is actually placing this clay on the kind of like the middle of the face because it's where there's more volume and it's where actually the brow bone kind of has its um, high point as well and blending and that forehead <laughs> with the nose and the brow bone and she looks kind of mad <laughs> and um, this actually it's obviously the the beginning but um, sculpting it's um, it's made out of tiny tiny details so this is just the basic I this is why I actually have decided to make uh, two videos because uh, when making uh, the the details it I mean it's it's a whole different uh, process because you have to there's this highlight um, points where the, the light uh, reflects and those tiny points of um, volume that are too tiny to to consider from the beginning and it actually will kind of left you be behind if you try to work uh, on those tiny details right away as well so i will leave those details um, for another video and now i'm placing um, the basic shape for the lips and um, as you can see the the my plan is to make uh, her look happy but uh, at the when I'm sculpting, I try at the beginning to not to make um, the, the smile right away. I just try to place the lips and the volume of the lips, not worrying about the smile. Because, you know, for doing the smile, you have to take in consideration the, the cheekbones and all that. So I'm only... Uh, caring for the proportions and the volumes, and that's it. Um, for me, actually, the hardest part of um, parts of um, sculpting the face are actually the eyes, and uh, I mean the hardest for me are the lips. 
the eyes are hard as well, but it's because you have to make them symmetrical. I mean, they one eye cannot be higher than the other, and that's the main problem. And but the lips are quite complex for me, at least. It's a very difficult area to work on. And just making sure that I have a, um, actually the proportion on the side view, how uh, things should be, should be. I mean, Um, for the side view, I, I think I would like to make a video on, I mean, it's just me because I'm kind of obsessed with, with the proportions, with the illustration, and uh, I'm, of course I'm not making myself clear because <laughs> you will probably not understand what, what I'm trying to say because, um, uh, when working on um, the side view, um, I I will actually will like to I place the forehead on um, with the with kind of the the upper lip and um, the bridge of the nose with um, the chin. And um, the forehead with um, the lower lip. And, and I mean, the upper lip has to kind of stand out a little bit from the forehead. I mean, it's, it's, it, um, it's the way I like it, I mean, proportionally some other people will use like it it's, it can be really uh, up to you because you know there's a lot of shapes different faces races and it, it it can it can be tricky okay so um it's kind of the basic shapes are done the eyes the nose and the, the lips as you can see the volumes are there you can actually already see a face and now i'm actually drawing kind of tracing um, where the hairline will be in order to place the ears properly and uh, it can be tricky placing the ears i kind of I kind of mess, mess them up a lot. Mess them up. <laughs> and uh, just drawing. And um, I, I always use colored pencils uh, because they're, they don't make that much mess on, on, on the piece. Like when drawing with or or a mechanical um, pencil, but color it because um, chalk or or a regular pencil will um, dirty too much the surface of uh, it will damage the clay. I mean, it can give it a, like a grayish. Even if you if you erase them properly, it will show. And uh, I'm just checking if the ears are symmetrical. Oh yeah, and I'm I'm helping myself to to place those ears with uh, plastiline. This is regular plastiline, and I just stick the plastiline to the to the basic shape, and I will um, add. Uh, my air dry clay on top and then once it's dry I'm going to 
gently remove uh, the plastiline from behind. I place uh, the base of the ear uh, a little higher than the base of the nose and uh, the top of the ears right with the um, upper lid of the eyes and that's that's how I do it. So I am doing this um, video on how I sculpt uh, a face but um, I mean proportions are something that has to be uh, taken into consideration so it's a whole subject to talk about it so I, I really hope uh, that for you it will be like, of help but you have to take um, proportions into consideration when starting a face or a portrait just to make that um, that sculpture work and to help yourself not to not to fall into a uh, not to turn your experience into a nightmare or a pit of despair <laughs> and uh, that's it I'm now placing the other ear Um, when the air dry clay is fully dry, plastiline kind of attacks to the air dry clay once it's fully dry. So I help myself with plastiline a lot, really a lot. And um, sometimes uh, I even take uh, the air dry clay to the oven with the plastiline and uh, I kind of it and it kind of I mean this is um, wax base uh, plastiline and it will melt down I actually use plastiline for making a complex hollow cavity uh, pieces I'm, I'm I'm, I'm saying cavities, but I'm, I'm afraid to say like cavities, like these cavities. I'm, and I'm not worrying, as I said before, to make the ear look like an ear, and it just has to have that uh, presence, like on, on the front part, on the front view, and on the side view. And then I'm going to, you know, carve and add more clay to give those ears the proper shape. And God, it really changed the whole face once you, it kind of, it kind of looks complete once you place the ears. And I, I kind of get lost when I don't have the ears on place. It's like. Some people said that the eyebrows are kind of the, the mark of the face. I mean, the mark, no, it's the... Oh God, I'm not sure uh, how it's called, called that. Like, kind of the... Oh, like where you put the photographs. I will send Mark. My sister is here with me. And um, damn, I don't remember the word. But I think the 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 ears. It's actually what completes the face. Actually, there's people that looks hot without eyebrows, but you know ears kind of hard to replace <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense and now I'm <laughs> I'm kind of I'm gonna I'm starting to make that um, smile up here um, and 
it's I have humidified the surface so it's quite easy for me to for the carb and for making the smile you have to you know study a little bit how a smile looks from the side view because you have to make the the cheeks uh, look on a different um, position they kind of have like a different shape when someone is smiling and uh, the, the mouth the mouth has to have more deafness and uh, And uh, it, it's kind of tricky. <laughs> and uh, I also like to use these um, tools, this like these are kind of like rubber or silicone something like that and uh, this is uh, like using your own fingers but smaller and it helps you a lot when you know when working with uh, air dry clay but air dry clay will kind of you know finish your tools your silicone tools, your rubber tools, like really fast because it's kind of a solid surface, so it's like you're rubbing that, but it's kind of like um, um, sanding your tools. So, as you can see, it kind of starts to look like a smile, and uh, we're there, we're there, but there's still a lot of work to do ears are really really uh, something <laughs> yay kind of looks happy and that will be all for this video the part one and i hope to upload the part two really soon and i hope you have liked and enjoyed this video and uh, that you have a clear view on how i uh, sculpt the face and maybe you can try as you can see it's not that difficult of course you have to take in consideration a lot of things but it's it's fun and i'm going to take my coffee and it's something <laughs> and um, thank you so much for for watching this video and have uh, have fun and take care see you next time